4.7c percents as proportions and applications percent increase or decrease we can set up a percent increase or decrease proportion by putting the change over the original and that will equal the percent over 100 Let's see this in example one. Example one asks, the price of a sofa was $299. During a weekend sale, the price was dropped to $179. What was the percent decrease? Looking back at the formula, we know that we need to have the change. So this would be the 299 minus 179 for the original price minus the new price, and then we place this over the original price. Remember, the 299 was the original price. And this will equal some percent, or x, over 100. We start by finding the change. We find that this is 120 over 299, which will equal x over 100. We can now multiply by the denominators to clear the denominator, which would be 299 times 100 on both sides. This allows us to clear 299 and 100. And now we have 120 times 100, which is 120,000 which equals 299x. We then divide both sides by 299, and we find that we have x equals 40.1338. If we round this to the hundredths, we get 40.13% discount. This is the percent discount of the sofa being reduced from $299 to $179. Example two asks, the population of a small town was 12,344 in 1990. By 2000, the population was 31,416. What is the pop percent increase for the population? Remembering that we must do the change over the original, we first find what was changing. We see there were two values. The original was in 1990. The new is in 2000. If we find the difference between these two, or 31,416 minus 12,345, and then we place this over the original, or 12,345, and we set this equal to some percent over 100. We now start by finding the difference. The difference here is 19,000 and 71. This is still over 12,345 equals x over 100. Remember, we can clear a denominator by multiplying both sides by the product of the denominators. This allows us to reduce out the 12,345 on the first side and the 100 on the second side. Multiplying, we now get 1,907,100 equals 12,345x. We divide both sides by 12,345. and we get 
percent for our increase. Remember, when finding percent increase or decrease, you must always find the change over the original value and set that equal to percent over 100.